Congratulations! You've been accepted to Wayne State University. So, what's next? The new semester probably feels far away. But there's a few things you need to do before you arrive. It's really important that you check your emails regularly and read them carefully. We'll be sending you lots of important information, and if you miss it, things won't run as smoothly as they could. If you do miss anything, check out oiss.wayne.edu. The first thing you need to do is accept your offer of admission. You do this online through appstatus.wayne.edu. Once it's done, you get your own Wayne State email address for all those important emails. If you haven't submitted all your required documents, now's the time to do it. Once Wayne State has everything, we'll send you an information packet and I-20, a document you'll need to apply for your visa. This will arrive by post, not online. If you're a Canadian citizen, you don't need a visa. Please visit the OISS website to learn how to enter the US under F1 student status. Now, it's time to look for housing. We recommend that students live on the university campus for the first year. You'll be closer to your classes, able to make friends and get involved in activities. Plus, it is less expensive than off-campus housing. Housing on campus is popular, so make sure to apply early at housing.wayne.edu. You also need to register for a check-in at the OISS office before you arrive at Wayne State. This is a really important meeting where we go over your documents and confirm your visa and mandatory health insurance. Register online here. Checking and reading your emails is important. Many departments email information that will require action, like registering for departmental orientation. Now it's time to head to Detroit, your new home. Remember, you can't arrive in the US more than 30 days before the start of classes. So make sure to book your flights accordingly. Check with campus housing or your landlord to find out when your housing is available. If you arrive 28 days before classes start, your room might not be available yet. In that case, you may need to make arrangements on your own to stay somewhere else for a while. On your first day at Wayne State, you'll need to get your one card. This gives you access to everything you might need on campus and is your university identification. You need to bring a piece of ID, like a passport, when you go to get your one card. Remember that check-in you registered for? It's time to go there to confirm your details. And that's everything. Time to explore. You can buy your books, see the Ambassador Bridge, take in a museum, or just prepare for the weather. Welcome to your new home. Everything you need to know is on our website or in our emails. But if you have any extra questions, write us at oip at wayne.edu. We're looking forward to meeting you. Hashtag, you are welcome here.